was, was working with, and that was extremely secretive, but that was a, an effort to, in fact, link corridors all the way from Alaska to Mexico of federal land and, and locking it up. It wasn't just wildlife uh, and, and national parks. It was straight no people. That was their concept. Uh, How does that provide economic opportunity? Doesn't. Either one of them? Doesn't. Well, the, the first one, uh, the latter, doesn't at all. And so if you want to read more about it, Get on the website, read about Project Wild, and you can have your own, judge, your own judgments about it and, and the politics behind it. But anyway, the Buffalo Commons, really the Popper's concept was, they, they threw that out as an idea, but they were simply trying to say that maybe tourism is a better economic return for the Great Plains than is wheat farming and cattle raising. And, and I... I wouldn't argue with them a hell of a lot. Tourists who would come to see Buffalo. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't argue with them from the standpoint that when you are in the bottom of the cattle cycle and calves are bringing 60 cents a pound, people can't make a living. And when wheat prices go below $2 a bushel, you can't make a living. On the other hand, are there enough tourists to go to every ranch in the Great Plains or every mile in the Great Plains to see Buffalo? I, I think it was, a, from my perspective, it was, a, it was, a, it was, it was all well-meaning on the part of the poppers, but they just didn't, living in New Jersey and, and New York City, didn't understand the expanse of the Great Plains and how damn big this place is and how many people there are. They, they, they look at Sioux County and there aren't many people. Well, drive every road in Sioux County by God, it'll take you more than your vacation this year, you know. And that's just one county. There are a lot of roads, and there's people stuck around every one of those places. So there's no way there's enough recreation for people just to come and see Buffalo. But Frank and Deborah and I, we invited them out, and, and Dick was involved with this. Uh, the Nebraska section, Wyoming section, South Dakota section of the Society for Range Management had a meeting in Hot Springs. And we brought the poppers out along with some Native American speakers, all kinds of folks, and we we talked about this stuff. Uh, a year before that, they the poppers had been down at McCook, and uh, the, in fact, the sheriff's department had to provide security. There were ranchers coming out of the seats ready to kill him, uh, simply because they didn't. The ranchers didn't understand really what they were trying to talk about. They were trying to say, isn't there some way that the economics of the Great Plains can be improved. That, that's really what they were trying to talk about. But people just misconstrued it to be bison. Uh, they were just saying there must be some alternatives. Uh, and so we, we've talked a lot about it, and they said, yeah, that is what our concept was. And, but the press really picked up on it. And, uh, and I'm not picking on Dick. Dick, Dick did a fantastic <laughs> job of covering it when we had our meeting. But well, subsequent to uh, the first coverage, all the cowboys went to Zurich. Yeah. Uh, subsequent to all this, I did call with Popper. I had a very great Popper and had a telephone interview. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I went down yeah, there. We, we were pretty naive. We have to go to, I have to take it down. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 they have and they've and, and oh. they stayed the night at our place down here and we talked about that they've been up here at the wagon and we we've sat and talked about it. and they said we were naive on the other end we all i agreed i said you know you might be naive about the size of the area but you're not far wrong in, in, the, in the concept that we've all got to look at something to improve the economics of, of ag operations. And so I talked about that last night. I said that cows and wheat and certified grass seed mules aren't making it. That's why we're doing the bed and breakfast thing, is to try to come. You know, when we take our taxes to it, to the tax guy every year, he says, geez, you know, you're showing loss every year. you got to start showing a profit. And I say, Reduce my taxes. <laughs> I sure as hell would like to, you know. <laughs> what do you do, you know? 
Uh, so, you know, I said, well, I can lie, I guess. <laughs> I can say it didn't cost me anything to run this place. Yeah, if you had to buy it, you could play everything. Oh. There's no way could you do it. Oh. I was showing him a good time. Well, this acreage along the highway is now selling for 8000 bucks an acre. Yeah. If you've got a highway right next yeah. to you. But, you know, 15 years ago we could have bought the, the neighboring sections for 200 bucks an acre. Now you'd be lucky to get it for 600. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened? It probably is because it's it's based on that assessment. What happened? Right over there. No, he just wanted his daddy. Right? What? He just wanted his daddy, yeah, but she is. had taken him down to the water trough, and he just loved it. His daddy said he's wet, and she said yes, but it's a good wet. It's water. <laughs> yeah, you're, that acre, acre and a half, is, the disadvantage is that it's about it's about a half mile of a road development to get to it, as opposed to those right the highway. But still, they were, the county assessor's office could look at it and say it's the same as those lots of water. Are there any other natural resources that are of value? Are there minerals? Is there oil? Oil or gas? <laughs> Not. Uh, there, there is uranium uh, near Crawford. There's a big uh, uranium mine. Uh, there's, there's a lot of. It's been very carefully monitored by EPA. Uh, the real concern there is uh, leakage into the groundwater, and of course we're right over the Ogallala Aquifer. As you move farther to the east, there's a, there's a, the Sand Hills has a unique aquifer that lay, that sits in that sand over the Oklahoma aquifer, so it's water rich. I don't know if you've all read the newspapers about this guy that's bought some property, going to drill three wells near Ashby and down in that country, and railroad water to Denver. Railroad water. And he gets his pipe water. What's that? The FC pipeline was going to Coca-Cola story. Yeah. And then the party came up. They were, they were going to pump Coca-Cola story, but it was to get the water. Yeah. Denver, exactly. Oh, he was. Well, down there they were going to separate the water. Yeah. Water. Yeah. So water's they a big. Coal with a water is big. Coal was a byproduct. Yeah. So, water. Uh, Coal is not here. Oil and min uh, oil and gas. They've they've uh, seismographed all through here. And well, they tell us they haven't found anything. They're just waiting to buy it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, buddy, wanted to go swimming, man. Want to go in the stock tank, go swimming. What did you do that, kid? First time I've heard him thrust, but he didn't. I know, it's all grandma.